What's up everybody, welcome to another video. My name is Tom and today's video is going to be really short because all I wanna do is I wanna explain to you how you can use the optical flow feature in your video editing software to turn your DJI Spark footage into slow motion. This is really easy, I'm going to show it to you in Premiere Pro and in Final Cut Pro 10. So let's get right into Premiere Pro. And I already have this little clip in here. Just pay attention to this little biker. This is what we're gonna use as an example for this tutorial. And keep in mind, if you wanna use the optical flow to create slow motion in your footage, make sure that your footage is kind of smooth so there's no really jittery movement in there because all optical flow does is if you stretch out your footage, to let's say 50% of the speed and your normal footage is on 24 frames per second. So now there are frames missing and optical flow now goes into the frames that are already there and kind of creates the frames that are missing from scratch. And if the movement in your footage is like really jittery and there's a lot of blur in there, optical flow will probably fail on this. But if your movement is smooth and your footage is really contrasty, then optical flow will probably do a really good job on this. And as for this footage, you can see that the biker is really dark and all around him it's pretty light. So optical flow will have a really easy job on this. And now what you're gonna do is in Premiere Pro, you just need to right click, go to speed duration, type in the speed amount that you want to have and I highly recommend not going below 50% because then it's way too hard for the optical flow to do the job really good. All above 50% is pretty easy and will probably work out pretty good. But if you don't need to, don't go below 15%. So we just want to type in 50% and here comes the thing in time interpolation, you need to choose optical flow. Then for the sake of this tutorial, we're just gonna render the selection. And here you go, you have 50% slow motion and it's really smooth, no jitters in there, no, I don't know, weird artifacts or something like that. It, it works pretty good and it's the same if you want to do this in Final Cut Pro 10. Here you just select the footage that you want to use. You go to this little, I don't know, tempo meter or something like that. Go to custom and it's the same here. If you don't need to, don't go below 50%. So I just choose 50, then go into it again. And in video quality, just choose optical flow. And here you go again smooth slow motion footage without having to buy a camera with higher frame rates feature which can be really expensive especially for drones so if you want to have some slow motion footage from your spark definitely use the optical flow it's really helpful but make sure that you have some kind of fast moving objects or really big objects that have a lot of motion in them because if you just take some normal footage from high above, I don't know, maybe above some city or something like that, slow motion will just slow down your footage and that doesn't make sense for this because the spark is already pretty slow. So it just makes sense if you want to slow down some kind of action in your video. So that's it, pretty easy. Some of you asked for it in the comments and I hope you guys found this video helpful. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel for more filmmaking related videos like this and I hope to see you guys in the next video.